in an election year, crime makes headlines, especially when the governor of Texas talks so bluntly about it. Take last night's GOP debate. Question, Governor, do you lose sleep thinking an innocent man might be put to death? No, sir, I've never struggled with that at all. The state of Texas has a uh, very thoughtful, a very clear process in place of which when someone commits the most heinous of crimes against our citizens. They get a fair hearing. They go through an appellate process. They go up to the Supreme Court of the United States if that's required. But in the state of Texas, if you come into our state and you kill one of our children, you kill a police officer, you are involved with another crime and you kill one of our citizens, you will face the ultimate justice in the state of Texas, and that is you will be executed. What do you make of uh I want you to take a look here at some of the statistics we've pulled. First, Texas has executed more people than any other state. Since Texas resumes, re resumed executions back in 1982, uh, that number now stands at 464, even though California and Florida have larger death row populations. Texas has four executions scheduled this month alone. But there is one execution that could haunt Governor Perry in this election. Here is Ed Lavendera. Cameron Todd Willingham was executed seven years ago, convicted of setting his house on fire to kill his three children. His appeals, including to the Supreme Court, repeatedly denied. Uh, Texas Governor Rick Perry signed off on the execution. Willingham was a monster. Just before Willingham's death, a nationally known fire expert studying the arson investigation found it horribly flawed that the original investigators had relied on outdated arson science. Willingham supporters asked the governor to halt the execution. Perry refused. We have a system in the state that has followed the procedures and they found this man guilty every step of the way. Cameron Todd Willingham's execution still haunts Rick Perry. The question is not only did Texas execute an innocent man, but did Perry use his power to try and shut down a potentially embarrassing investigation into how Willingham was convicted? If there was no arson, Willingham would not have been executed. If this case went to trial today, I can't see any way that Willingham would be convicted. I can't see any way that, this, that a prosecutor would bring this case forward today. The Innocence Project brought Willingham's case to an obscure state agency called the Texas Forensic Science Commission, which started looking into whether bad arson investigative techniques were used to convict Willingham. That the science was indeed junk science. Sam Bassett was head of the commission. He says he was called into a heated meeting with two governor's aides and told the investigation was a waste of state money. I couldn't believe that they were injecting themselves into uh, the commission business so directly and so confrontationally. You got the sense clearly they wanted to influence the outcome, I guess? Yes. I, that, that was my sense, that they wanted us to stop the investigation. The commission kept working. More fire experts agreed the investigation relied on junk science. Seven months later, Bassett says he was suddenly told he was not being reappointed because the governor wanted to take the commission in a different direction. I've seen just kind of an endless drumbeat of, of strategies and actions to stop this investigation. It's been terribly disappointing. And why do you think you were taken off this commission? It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that um, that this was a situation that the governor's office clearly did not want us to conclude. Perry has denied Sam Bassett's removal was politically motivated, and the governor remains as unwavering today as he was two years ago in his opinion that Willingham deserved to be executed. Go look at the facts and you will find that this was an incredibly bad man who murdered his kids, and the record will stand the scrutiny. More than two years later, the Cameron Todd Willingham investigation is still stalled, and nobody can say for sure if Texas executed an innocent man. Ed Lavendera, CNN, Austin, Texas.